Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on a new code reader we just received. It's the Ansel AD610. Very cool little item. So if you wanna see the review on it, stay tuned because we're starting right now. All right guys, what we have here is the new code reader that was sent out to us. It's the Ansel AD610 Plus, and it does everything a regular code reader can do, as well as remove ABS and airbag lights as well. And here are some of the features. It covers, includes 52 manufacturers. It reads and clears codes and turns off ABS and airbag warning indicator. Shows you live vehicle sensor data and text and graph format. Allows you to use the scan tool to activate the ABS and airbag system. Has over 10 different languages. And you view all that information on a 4.3 inch collar display. I'm not going to tell you the price of this till later in the video. I'm also going to give you a discount that will knock 25% off. But you got to watch the whole video because I'm not putting it at the end. It might be in the middle. I'm going to make you watch this whole video. And if you do, you'll get 25% off. And I'll tell you the final price of this. It looks very expensive. Comes in a very nice case. Everything's nice and wrapped up. And the scanner itself is very nice. Even on the side, it has the ridges. I mean, look at all the protection it has. It comes with a memory card. There's the charging port. I mean, it is very nice. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. It ain't like they're paying me to tell you this. But after using it, it's the one that I'm going to be using every day. And here's the cord where you plug it in. I mean, it's top of the line stuff. But let's see how it really works. So we've been working on this Jeep for a few weeks doing different things. And on the Jeep, this is where you plug in the code reader right here. Now remember, this is the ABS, a specialized in ABS. And as you can see, we have an ABS light. Here we are looking at the instructions. They're very detailed, but to be honest, I'm not somebody that reads the instructions. Just throw it to the side and I just figure it out as we go. I didn't notice this at first. I didn't check that little pocket, but here's the cable that you can plug it up to the computer because you can go on their websites. And if there's any new vehicles that got added or the new makes and models, you can plug this in the computer, go to their website, and you can update it. And for the first 18 months, go there for free and get it all fixed. Also, real quick, in the description of this video, I have a link where you can join our membership. There's three different levels that you can pick, and it gives you different accesses from behind the scenes to videos specifically for you. So go ahead and click on the link and check that out. You might like it. And here we are, we're going to plug it in the OBD port now. And as you can see, you can only plug it in one way. So you can't plug it in backwards, it just doesn't work. And the cord is over four feet long, which is very handy. And as you can tell, look at this screen, it's a very big screen, you can view everything perfectly. In this one, we're gonna go ahead and check the engine. We're just messing around with the stuff because this is the first time I've opened it up as well. Just running a regular scan here. We don't have any check engine lights on, but it shows some of the monitors are incomplete. I mean, it shows everything. You can actually go down to the transmission one as well. You can go into the engine here. Go down to your vehicle, has all you got to remember, has over 52 vehicle manufacturers. So you're going to find your car on here, that's for sure. Has a lot of options. I mean, you can play with this thing all day long. You can select your protocol and look at all these different tests that come run. I have no idea what any of this stuff means, but it looks pretty cool, right? I'm sure it's in the instructions, but like I said, we didn't pay attention to it. We want to see how the ABS works because that's our problem. Our traction control light and our ABS sensor. And this is what makes this a better than regular code reader because it does everything the regular one has. 
But a lot of times you'll see in a car your ABS light on or your seatbelt light on. So let's do a quick scan and figure out what's going on with it. So we're going down the analog brakes. We're going to read the codes and see why it's on. As you can see, it says a right rear wheel speed sensor. So that's what's causing our ABS. So you go down to special instructions and it has some more stuff. You can even bleed your brakes from here. And real quick, make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to give you a code so you can get 25% off. And this isn't a $300 item. With the code I'm giving you, it's going to be down to about $85. Bucks. All right, let's get back to this. So now we're doing a live data test. And you can see there's different things you can pick. Well, we know that the code told us our right rear wheel speed sensor wasn't working. So we can click on that and run the test. And the value shows zero. So it shows that's not working at all. And you can see here on the graph, it's a straight line. If it was working, it would be going up and down. So now we're going to go ahead and test everything, all the wheel speed sensors. And now we're taking off and we're driving. And as you can see, the only one that has zero is the right rear wheel speed sensor. So what we need to do is go ahead and fix that, which is what we're doing here. So we're going to go ahead and replace the wheel speed sensor. Plug it back in. Get back on our code reader. We're going to go up and clear the code. After you replace the part, you need to clear the code out. And then if it comes back on, then you know it didn't fix your problem. But if it stays off, then you know your problem's fixed. And as you can see, now we're test driving it. And now it's working. It has the value same as the other ones. Also, the lights are off, except the seatbelt light. It's because I'm not wearing a seatbelt. We're just in the parking lot. So it did fix our problem. The lights have stayed off. Everything's good to go. And here I am. This is the ABS pump. And I'm actually trying to make the lights come back on. I'm testing them. It runs the test. They kick back on. And then they go back off. Because it passed the test. And worked exactly like it should. And the best part of this code reader is I can save you 25%, which is going to put it around about $85. It is the very best code reader you can buy for less than $100. But you're only going to get it less than $100 by using my code. I'm putting it on the screen right now. Use that. You'll get it for $85. And that's the best code reader money can buy. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Right now we're about 1,600, trying to hit the 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Please help us out with that. And like always, simplify till next time.